because the nail holes are so what? The nails are staying in the wood. The nails are pulling through the metal and rendering the metal useless. Yeah. Now I'm going to have holes all over the place and it's going to be really hard to use this in any way. So I'm not going to. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling. In other words, I really, really needed to do this. <laughs> I look okay on camera. It looks great. <laughs> you, all, you all look very, you all look very strong and virile and handsome. Does even Butch look strong on camera? The what? Yeah, well, I haven't gotten too much of him yet. I look close up on his hair. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. I know, his hair is beautiful. He's also a hand model. He takes those off. How long do you work on your hair before you show up to work? It's much? just in and out. It's just suave. It's nothing fancy. <laughs> it's just suave and a wet comb and off I go. Suave has been around my whole life, you know? Yeah. My mother always used suave. You know, if it's on sale, I'll buy it. Dollar General, you know. Yeah. So the metal was made in November of 94. Okay. That's what the 11 is. So it's odd that they used nails in 94, but okay, they did.
That's that corner that's leaking. Can you really tell the difference over there? Oh, it's bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you run any mice off yet? We haven't seen any mice, but we've seen, uh, wasp we've seen a lot of wasp nests. <laughs> right. I don't know if it's loose or not. Yep. <laughs> Tell you what, just rotate this bottom down to me. Come on, doing good, doing good. All right, all right, let it come to me. Got it, man. I got it. Hey, boy, you drop your crowbar back here too. Who's this time? I'll get it. It looks pretty disgusting. I had a feeling it would be disgusting under there. It's, uh, it's not good, but it ain't the worst thing we ever seen. I don't think we've got to it down. <laughs> good. That's what they... Yes, those things are ornery. That's a nail? Yes. You pound that in somehow? It's called a ring shank. It's designed to not come back out, which is exactly our problem right here. <laughs> oh, I see. So it has to be... You that, have to just shear it off. That's why it stayed in the wood and the metal gave. Two foot pieces, two eight foot pieces. Oh. More rock. Rock. We first anticipated because from down below you couldn't see it, but up top. Oh, I see that. Of, uh, a lot of disintegrated wood. Like that right there. Yep. Places where the nail was drove in. 15% of it probably. Just not to be replaced. Oh, wow. Do you have enough wood? No. <laughs> but luckily, we can get more. Yeah, no problem. Cut out the bad sections. Okay. And just replace that. Okay. That sounds like a plan. But your bottom board, where the ladder's leaned up against, it's it's a hundred percent. Got to be. Yeah, it's it's bad. I had a feeling. Yeah, you know. Yeah. What about the support beams holding those up? They're all okay. All your all your your trusses. They're they're not hurt. Any. Well, that's good. Yeah, so it's okay. A six by six, you can get a little right on them. They'll still be okay. Okay. There's a lot of wood on them. Okay. Right. Uh, stop the moisture and it'll stop rotting, right? Right. I think if we get the roof fixed, that'll help everything up top. And like I said, eventually do something with your your drainage right there. Yeah. Get that a little bit better. Yeah. You kind of got it started, but I think it just needs to be improved a little bit. Right. And uh, that'll help that out.
we're cutting out the uh, the rotten lumber now. Right. But right there where Shane is, that is called a top plate, and the entire length of that is uh, powder. And uh, we're gonna have to buy all of that lumber at lunch. Um, Here you go. Because it's, yeah, you can see <gasps> it coming up now. Oh my! Wow! Oh my gosh! It's just well, it's even more uh, critical that I did this than I thought. Yes, it's a very good time. Throw it right here and I'm going to lay it where she can see it. You see this? I sure can. Oh! And see, there's some places over there where there's just no wood at all. So is it just uh, all water rot or is it water termites rot. or just water? Water rot. Is water rot. Okay. And all that you think came from the holes, from the nails? I think that's about the only place it would have came from. I, I almost wonder if part of this down here at the bottom went from that condensation. Yeah. So you know your fiberglass insulation. I don't know if you, I, I don't know if you felt of it, but it's it's very damp. No, so, I haven't, but I will. Uh, typically, if there was a little leak in the nail where the nail was, in theory, it should dry up. But with that insulation on there, I'd say it just collected and collected and collected and never could dry up. And it kind of just ran down to the bottom and then... Correct. But are those, are those uh, joists uh, okay? They're, they're okay. In the front so and the back? what we see. Okay. Everything good. Cutting a lot out. <laughs> yeah, we're cutting out a lot. A lot more than we planned on, but... Nothing you guys can't handle. Oh, it's, it's just it. It's not going to take that much longer to cut a few more boards out. We're house doctors. We can yeah. fix it. That's great. <laughs> Never bought a ticket in my life. Ooh. Oh, wow. Gosh, that was powder decomposed. Okay, so this is what was overhead, and you can see, soaking wet for one thing. So that was just, I mean, I didn't even realize how desperately I needed to do this. So I feel so grateful that I just decided to replace it because you would have never known. Can you imagine? Where is all that dust now? I'm going to have a cleanup job in there. Yeah, you'll eventually have to sweep your garage out when we get done. Okay. You might as well wait until we do the other side because the chances are it's going to be like this on the other side too. Right. Okay, I'm in love with all the light in here, but we've discussed it. There's nothing I can do now. It's got to be sealed up. It's got to be closed up. Skylights, Kip. What's that? 
What about skylights? Uh, Maybe yeah, a. Man. I don't know. Would that be a problem? Uh, I guess you'd have to just figure out where you want to put them. Or you just have to cut out part of the lathing. And six months, but then it, you're going to be running into that algae. Uh, oh well. Someday. Someday I'm going to have a light. Look how amazing it looks in here. No lights on. You can see everything. It's ten times bigger. Well, it's dark again in here. <laughs> I went to the chiropractor and I came back and it was all filled in. It's so nice to see clean new wood and insulation. That's the dark green. Mm -hmm. It's like a hunter military green. Um, are you teaching her to drive? How old is she? Six. Almost six. Might as well. Okay. So she gets stranded somewhere. I knew how to drive at that age. You did? Yeah. We lived in a one lane country road in and out. And I used to sit on a phone book and drive home. I tell you, was it a Sears Roebuck catalog? No, it was the Yellow Pages. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Big, thick one. I know. They're putting on the last panel. On this side. On this side, yeah. We're not. Yeah.
These are my neighbors, Hi. Natalie and Iris. Dropping by. See you later. Come back and see it when it's done. Real butter and maybe just a little honey on my uh, muffin. <laughs> how about how about um, something even better? Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Donuts. No, I don't give Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have uh, some choice bread and honey. Uh, 
homemade banana bread and homemade squash bread. Oh, oh my gosh, I want a slice of each. Well, I'll have squash to bread, out. man, it's think of that. I'll eat it all. Man. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Save it for 2.30 when we brew coffee. Okay, whatever. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> So he actually, backstory, he invented a uh, funnel called Speedy Blue. Basically, that's a small. But it has some straw down it, some air will draw. Yeah. And it'll flow a lot. Very convenient. <laughs> we take advantage of it. That's the only reason we keep it. <laughs> oh, All right, well, I'll see you in the morning. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Day one.